This is the Ernie Ball Music Man JP13, and it's a great example of the evolution of my models with Ernie Ball Music Man over the past 15 years now. What we did with this guitar is we kept some of the great features that we had developed over the years, the placement of all the controls, the function of the controls, the custom Music Man bridge. Then we sort of made some changes along the way. We made a little bit of a change to the body style, uh, getting more access, more cutaway access here. A little bit of change to the dimensions of the neck, making it more comfortable, more easy to play. Uh, we'd gone through several different radius changes and came up with the 17 inch radius that feels really like the magic number. And uh, also the fret size and material of stainless steel is something around this period that we're really perfected. This guitar has a mahogany neck, mahogany tone block, the pickups and the bridge are mounted directly to that tone block for maximum sustain and tone. Has a basswood body and a maple top. It has an opaque finish so you can't see the maple like on the BFRs, but it's under there. And this particular one is the first time that we went back to a rosewood fretboard. Again, kind of thinking of tone, kind of thinking of comfort. Other changes that are pretty notable with this model, the big changes, is it's the first model that has an onboard preamp. So this is an active system. This is also the first model to feature my new DiMarzio Illuminator pickups for the bridge and the neck. So the guitar is a preamp, it's buffered out. You don't have to worry about cable length or anything like that, losing tone. Also, there is a uh, coil tap on the tone control. Just press that, pops up. When you're in the middle position, the coils are tapped. This guitar has a boost on the volume control that will boost the output of the guitar up to 20 dB. You can control that amount on the back of the guitar. You can really hear it on a clean sound. If I play a chord with the boost off and then engage the boost, listen to the increase of volume. So as you can see, it really takes the output of the guitar and slams it into the front of the amp. To me, the most useful um, application of that is not playing a clean sound and boosting the volume like I just demonstrated, but when I'm playing a sound that's already distorted and I want a little bit more. Kind of like uh, stepping on a clean boost pedal or an overdrive pedal, but in a way that's very transparent, that doesn't change the sound of the guitar at all. It just gives you more sustain, more gain. This is without the boost on. It really is an incredibly versatile guitar. It could pretty much do anything. It's incredibly comfortable, easy to play, sounds like a beast, and uh, looks amazing with the silver. So this is the JP13.